Hello everyone, another unboxing here, sent from Tyzak, Spear and Jackson Eclipse, um, it's all other Spear and Jackson, so there's quite a lot of, of there's bricklaying tools, gardening tools and plastering related tools in this package, and it's actually 13 kilograms worth of tools, so yeah, I'll jump into the unboxing here, but as I go through it, um, I'm going to try and drop clips of things that are around the house and the garden that I'm going to try and use the tools for. So let's let's get stuck in the unboxing. 13 kilograms worth of tools. So get the. Big thanks to Spear and Jackson, obviously. I'll put these out of the way for safety, so don't trip. And I'll I'll also drop a link to the the, the jobs if I have any footage of them of what um, I'm planning on doing and my knife is field again. So. Right, so I'm gonna lay this down in case it. Flies out everywhere on us. So quite a quite a package, all right, eh? Some chalk, a lot of chalk, actually. Right. So let me start with these bad boys here. Oh, secateurs. So this is a, a level kit, it's got its own package, very well packed, maybe small level. These are unbelievable when you're doing certain awkward wee, wee jobs and you have no level. These are perfect, brick effect render being one of them. If you don't know what that is, I'll drop a link to the description or search the channel for brick effect render. And there's a, another size one. Again, sometimes just when you need a level, 600 millimeter, that's going to be perfect for getting in. It's going to be grooved at the top there as well. And obviously, yeah, the bigger one probably be the one I would use the most on the packet. Definitely look and seem like Good quality levels already. So, yeah, we'll see how they, they play out, guys, on the channel. And um, I did recently do um, levels and straight edges and things on the channel. So, obviously, Stabilla got a big shout out, but hopefully, they can give Stabilla a bit of a run for their money. And um, might be a cheaper alternative for some people as well. That's quite a Quite a pack as well going. So that should be easily stored in the van and keep all the levels together easily in and out of jobs also. So, so far very, very pleased with that. Um, let me jump into... So obviously I've had a few brick land shells before and um, that handle feels very comfortable. That one just looks amazing as well. Both got me back butts for hitting I'm just going to try and keep the packets as well but these are going to help me build that wall and um, so I'm gonna not that I'm building a big wall but I'm gonna hire a wall and hopefully build a couple of wee, wee sample walls and stuff as well that I'm gonna play about with so yeah, that one definitely does. You know, I, I love this comfort grip that Tyzak are doing. Both trials not not heavy. Feels nice and light. Not that I'm a, an expert bricklayer, but I'm sure that these are going to do brilliant for what I need need them to do for. I'll keep trying to keep these cases as well. with the, the bricklaying side of things here at the minute. 
so pretty pretty good weight to that it's like a chipping hammer bricklayer hammer for cutting the blocks there's quite a bit of weight to that red red stem so when you set it down it should be easy to, for your eye to pick it up and see it again obviously building sites and brick bricks laying about and maybe rubble especially where you're cutting them it'll be handy seen again so that's going to be pretty good there's my wee blade from the unboxing knife so keep popping out so we've got two bolsters that's very good that's razor sharp see how this comes up to the test of actually chipping the ha hammers safety warning wear eye protection and it's got a good good cover to protect the knuckles so it, if you do miss you're necessarily not taking a finger off so pretty good but yeah like i say that's pretty sharp and a smaller sized one again very very sharp eclipse spear and jackson eclipse red handles comfortable so if you were using them i would say they'd be quite comfortable using them all day long so there we go with them and obviously the big heavy hammer for breaking the blocks too quite some weight and again i like the red shaft that you can see it again so chalk line and a ton of chalk which is very good kind of want to open this up and dive into this oh i hope it is so See how it works, that's it locked. So obviously you pour the chalk in. Where do we, where do we put the chalk on this one? Or is this just a string line? No. So you put the chalk in there, which is also where you lock it with the handle. So you pour the chalk in there, close the door again. You always have to keep these things dry because when the chalk gets wet, it's always a bit of a nuisance. And what to do with the chalk line is, is when you get it straight, normally it's a two-man job, so the camera person is going to have to snap the line for me. So you get that, snap the line, like so, and then it'll leave a chalk line across. I'm sure most of you didn't need a an explanation of how our chalk line worked, but some of you made it. And wraps up pretty well. And locks in. Quite quite a big chalk line as well, so it must hold a lot of chalk. Probably gonna hold half of that there. Probably not put half it in just in case it does get done. Give me a chance to, to keep going. But again, gonna be a valuable tool for certain jobs and um, you can also use it as a st string line and build to it now that feels very impressive straight away as soon as i picked that up quite a bit of weight to that that's a eight meter tape 26 foot magnetic pretty pretty strong i know it did say that the trials were light but you would, wouldn't really expect to almost be able to pick and they, they so that magnet's pretty impressive so if you drop a couple of screws and you have your tape on you you can get them screws up i'm sure um, or your your blade you don't need to bend over to get your blade picked up but that does feel very very solid that feels a very good design, a good build. Nice wee clip. Retractable. Very, very nice indeed. So again, a tape sort of explains itself. So have a wee hatchet here. Or a wee axe. That's 
Bjorn Jackson and has has a blade cover there as well. I'll try my best to keep that. Um, yeah, hickory feels very comfortable. Bit of weight, so I'm obviously going to use this for splitting wood for the fire and stuff. Seems to have two pins also fixing the head on. We don't want that flying off. But again, I think you can tap the back end and try and get a couple of clips with this running in use. So what's next then? Spear and Jackson Predator saw. It's a bow saw. I'm gonna keep it covered up because it's they're razor sharp. It has a, a I also has a wee blade cover as well. Oh you change the blade here, unscrew that, and the blade will come out. Comfortable handle. Good build. Spear and Jackson is renowned for their, their gardening tools, guys. So I do expect this to last a lifetime. I really do. So that's that, and there's a spare blade as well. You can see the teeth, the teeth there. Soft and wet green wood. So this is going to go through everything. Breaker tooth. So this really will. Cut through it fast, I would imagine so. And some secateurs. It's a wee, wee pouch as well. And I think there's a little knife with it as well. So obviously going to use them for, for pruning stuff. As it does say pruning. Bypass secateurs and a pruning knife. And then you got the canvas holder. So if you're doing a lot of pruning, that's going to come in handy for you. Seems a good bit of kit. You can see in there it does have rubber handles. So it's well cable tied together. I'm gonna to keep it like that until I'm gonna use it. So it keeps it all together and keeps it in here safe as well. I have small wee hands. So feels good. And then we have some lappers. Again, going to be good for sort of snipping away at tree branches and stuff. Tidying things up. And they, they feel very comfortable. Have a... Have some kind of wee, wee sort of pads here that reduces the vibration of your arms. Because obviously when you're cutting, you're going to be putting a lot of pressure in and then when it goes through, that stops metal to metal. So that's pretty good. It seems like a, a lot of fixings in it as well. So imagine this is, again, like I said, Spear and Jackson have used their shovels and their spades and stuff and they are good quality. So I, I know for a fact all their gardening stuff is top quality gear. It says it's got a 32 minimum Maximum, sorry. Max cuts 32 millimeters. So that's pretty big. That's probably about there. So I think that's wrapping it up for now. And definitely will try and get all the tools in use and on video as soon as possible. Hopefully some better weather kicks in. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more, of course. But yeah, have a wee look down in the description, guys, and you'll see where the ideas for some of these tools are coming from. Right, so guys, um, just an, another wee point here to make on this level, actually. So. Normally when you put a level on a wall like that there, 
you have to come around the side and, and you're sitting at a bit of an angle and stuff so you're trying to get things level and your that wall actually is plumb like but there's an easier way with the spear and jackson level and that's just look through here it has a mirror looking straight at that level to let you know where it is so if you're rolling it off it'll let you know it's going to be good for setting beads and for joiners and door frames and things that's going to be perfect I would imagine